Welcome to Dante's Harmony Podcast, your ultimate source for music, mentoring, and motivation. Join me, Dante Harmon, as I host a one of a kind podcast that showcases the incredible world of sacred steel music. With in depth interviews, exclusive music, and untold history, this podcast is a must listen for anyone passionate about music. So tune in, subscribe, and let's harmonize the world of music together. Welcome to another inspiring episode of Dante's Harmony. Today, we have a very special guest who embodies creativity, motivation, faith, and a vision for unity. Please join me in welcoming Lindsay Dillard, the founder and lead designer and CEO of the revolutionary fashion clothing line, Carry Him. In this episode, we dive into the heart of Carry Him, exploring how Lindsay brought this unique brand to life. We'll uncover the deep symbolism of Christ, unity, diversity, and love that runs through every piece of clothing. Lindsay's designs blend representation from all seven continents, celebrating our shared humanity and even incorporating the Pangea map to remind us of our interconnectedness. We'll hear about the highs and lows of even starting a business, the challenges Lindsay faced, and the confirmation of the brand's uniqueness in the world. And most intriguingly, we'll learn about the prophetic utterance that sealed Carry Him's place in the fashion industry. Get ready for an episode filled with inspiration, motivation, faith, and the beauty of unity through fashion. This is Dante's Harmony, where we explore the harmony between motivation, creativity, purpose, and faith. All right. I am Dante Harmon, and here we are on on another edition of Dante's Harmony Podcast, and I have a very, very special guest here on today. You know, there, there are a lot of things that are going on in the industry, uh, the fashion industry, to be specific, and today I have a very, very special guest, Lindsay. How Hello, I'm good. I'm well. Thank you for having me on your show. I really appreciate it. You know, this is this is so unique because um, and as we start talking and we get into the conversation, I, let me let me just do this introduction. Um, first of all, Lindsay Dillard is my special guest and she is the founder, along with her husband, uh, co-founder of the brand Carry Him. So we're going to get in. We're going to get into this, 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 this unique name and what this clothing fashion icon actually represents and and what it's all about but i i'm i'm just really first of all congratulations on it and i i know right now there's so many things that you're doing so many things that are going on with the brand but tell me how this came to be carry him it's amazing and it took me <laughs> it took me a long time to even understand the name itself mm-hmm. but I was 22 years old okay. I had just finished college okay. for sports medicine okay I wanted to be a physical therapist okay so two months after graduation I'm reading the Bible and believe it or not I would always hear from God in this particular room so I go to this room I'm reading the Bible and I see the name, the logo, and concept just boop, fell in my lap at one time. Okay. I saw Carry Him, I saw Footprints, and I knew it was Christian-based apparel. Wow. And I said, Lord, I don't know anything about clothing. I want to be a physical therapist. I just finished school, four-year degree for something totally different. Wow. And um, I knew nothing about it. So I sketched something, and it was super ugly. <laughs> What was it? You got to tell us. It was like a jacket. Okay. It was just ugly. Okay. okay. <laughs> and um, I said, okay, I'm, I'm tripping. And those were the words I said in my head. I'm, I'm tripping. Okay. And I pushed it away. And I went to sleep that night later on. Mm. 
I had dreams. So I started having dreams about clothes. I saw like a whole, br- the, you know, like the ending of something, how God will show you the end before the beginning. Right. I really was shown that. Wow. I was shown ma- major clothes. And so I woke up and sketched out what he was showing me in my sleep. And then I went to sleep the next night. He did it again. So I just woke up and started sketching out what he was showing me. So wait, okay, so we, we let me pause a second. <laughs> so you're having dreams now. Oh yeah. And he's not only, not only are you having these dreams, but you're having these dreams and he's revealing. Oh, sure. The actual line, the line in your dreams. In my dreams. You wake up and you start I sketch sketching. It out. Mm-hmm. Wow. So this is two nights in a row. Two nights in a row. Okay. So it's like 11, it equaled up to like 11 ideas in two nights. Wow. And I was like, okay, Holy Spirit, this is a lot. But I knew he was telling me in my sleep what he was leading me to next. Wow. This is incredible. <laughs> Those of you all that are, that are listening and that you're, there, you're just joining this podcast, I'm here with Lindsay Dillard, um, founder of Carry Him fashion apparel and and listen it, if you are watching uh via youtube right now you see what we're rocking <laughs> you see what we're rocking so you know this is this is so interesting so so you know now i want to go more into the 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 line so so you're you're being awakened mm-hmm. in the night you're having these dreams you're sketching out 11 11 11 I, I 11 I, different ideas yes on, on the brand so how so so now uh, I want to go into I want to go more in depth because there's so many images on your oh, yes. on the brand oh, yes. um, that even you know reveals concepts of Jesus oh, yes. so so tell us more about that and, and, and even how that came to be so that came to be I ended up going back to college because I knew nothing about business okay so I went and got my master's in business operations to learn how to operate the business. I'm like, Lord, Smart. if you want me to do this, I'm going to have move. to learn how to do this. <laughs> Smart move. <laughs> so in the process, I'm sketching out ideas for what the brand carry him means, right? Wow. I'm guessing it's, I need to draw the face of Christ. Okay. So I'm making him these different ways. My mom's helping me. We're hiring different people to help. Um, it's just not working out. Okay. So he's not dark enough for people. He's not mm. light enough for people. He was a silhouette. He was a zigzaggy, funky little face, you know? Right. And it wasn't moving. Okay. I made him black and white, pink and green, orange and blue. It looked like kindergarten work. Wow. And so I asked the Holy Spirit, because this is years. Okay. Years of work. I said, Lord, I don't know what you want me to do at all. I don't understand what carry him means. And the faces are not working. Nothing selling is not working. I don't know what you want me to do. Okay. And I and I said, Lord, I got to give this back to you. Right. Because I'm trying as much as I can, and I can't figure it out. Okay. And so one night, I was working for a church. Um, I was invited to a home, a home celebration, you know. Anyway, I go to the home, and they're ministering about Christ. Okay. And I sit in the way in the back. Of the ch- you know, they made it like a home, like a church, I mean. Okay. And so I'm sitting in the back. Okay. And the pastor calls me to the front. And I come in late. And he says, um, God said, don't give up your business. I went there to give it up. Wow. He said, God said, don't give it up. It's going to go in leaps and bounds. He said, my mom's name, my sister's name, my aunt's name, my uncle's name. So he was prophesying. Oh, he was prophesying. He said, my name. Wow. Who was, who was Candace? Who's Lindsay Candace? You're 31. God gave you a gift of fashion and design. He went, he went in deep. Wow. So because of that, I stayed. And I had to figure out what it meant because I still didn't know what God was saying. So for those of you all that are listening and, and you have a dream and there's something that you are doing and you decide or think about trying to give up mm. and you do what Lindsay just did <laughs> and say, OK, you know, I'm going to have a party and I'm going to give it back to you, God. <laughs> and God intervenes and shows up mm-hmm. in the form of a prophet. In the form of a prophet. And he totally does a 180. T- totally, and and uh, and that that made you do a one eighty because he confirmed everything that you everything. were already doing. Everything he said you... the name carry him in the wow. prophecy. Wow! He said, "Don't give it up. It's going to take off. It's going to go in leaps and bounds. It's going to go." Whoosh, whoosh. But because he said my mom's name, he spelled her name the right way it is on her birth certificate. It's, it's misspelled on her birth certificate, so he spelled it the right way that my grandmother meant for it to be. And so you knew it was God. I mean, I knew it was God. <laughs> <laughs> he was answering questions that I didn't, I was asking him. Am I really an entrepreneur? Did you really? Do I really? He's like, God said that or not directly. So when wow. you hear the Holy Spirit, you can't 
I couldn't run from, away from him. Well, we have to listen. We have to obey because that, I think it confirmed everything that you wanted to stop. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so you couldn't stop it because it's like, wait a minute. Only God could reveal God. what this, what the, what the, what the man of God said that was already embedded within my in heart, in my heart, in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Amazing. So, so all this is happening. You get this prophecy. What happened after that? So I keep trying. I said, okay. So obviously I'm not giving it back. I'm going to stick with you, Lord, mm -hmm. and help me know what it means. I don't know what carry him means, and I don't know what the artwork is supposed to look like. What are we supposed to put on the shirts? What is this supposed to be? Right. And then um, another prophet came, and I'm not making it up, and said, um, it's going to be a short guy. He's going to come into your life, and he's going to tell you the next step that God has for you, for carry him. Okay. I said, okay. So I meet up with a friend of mine. We go out for brunch or whatever, okay. and he brings a little short guy. <laughs> so <laughs> this is really being played out. And I'm not thinking anything of it. I'm talking to my friend. Like, I don't know what to do about carrying him. I can't figure it out. It's not selling. Right. Da, 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 da. And the guy was like, hey, just make everybody just one. Don't make the face of Christ. Make the face of people. Christ in us. And I stopped and I looked. I was like, you are the short guy. It still took me two years and four months to do the artwork. But he was the next person to help me understand the next step. Wow. So he bought it, it was it was so through his mouth mm -hmm. he bought utterance to what you actually put as an image. Yes. The, I'm, my mind is already blown because some of us we give up on a, on our dreams because we don't see it come to fruition. Mm -hmm. It's not and, and even some of us that have a dream and, and we have something that we want to do, we see it, we 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 put it out there. It doesn't sell. Mm -mm. It doesn't move the way we want it to move. Mm -mm. It's not making the kind of traction or get, getting the kind of traction that we 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 wanted to have. Right. And we we do. We throw in the towel. It's, and it's easy to give up it's, and say, you know what? Very easy to give up. It's, you're stressed and you're really giving it all you have. Right. And you're putting money. You're putting your money, time, time, energy, knowledge. Investing. Student loans. <laughs> 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 going back to business school <laughs> yes to to later on get the revelation and have a prophet speak to you mm -hmm. fulfill the prophecy and all the things that he said through the people that he said would happen through no, he, and it happened and it happened mm -hmm. wow. and so I um started researching faces okay because I didn't know how to pick a face to represent a whole continent Okay. So I researched Chinese eyes, Japanese nose, Singapore lips, Vietnamese cheekbones, a haircut from any part of Asia, right? Okay. So I'm blending them up in any kind of way, and then I would actually do surveys to Asians. Okay. And say, how do you feel about this representing you as a whole continent? Okay. I couldn't figure that out. So I was tedious, and I did it for Africa. I did it for, <laughs> <laughs> I did it for South America. I did it for India. I did it for Europe. And, and even for Europeans, I put an Antarctica, somebody from Antarctica. No nation left behind. No, nobody at all. No nation. So it's only 3% of the world lives in Antarctica. Right. But I still found somebody's features from Antarctica. To and represent. To represent. Carry home. Carry home. This is, this is a, I'm floored. <laughs> this is amazing. So, so, you know, for those of you all that, that have dreams and you have aspirations and you think about giving up. Like, this is a story of perseverance. This is a story of seeing within yourself. This is a story of watching how um, God will put something in you and he will see it until it's fr fruition, right? Um, you, you talked about that scripture in Isaiah, how he, you know, he ends... You know, you see the end of a thing, but he he oh, comes yes. back and, and you know he he starts it. That's how God works. Oh, he does. God works. He he's already completed it. He, right? She showed it to me from the. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you, he wasn't even showing me the faces and things like that. He was showing me a full fledged, ready to wear line wow. for men and women. I saw greens and pinks and blues and purples and blacks of outfits, and it wasn't even faces on them or maps on them. It was you just a saw brand. a completed. I saw a completed brand product fashion line mm -hmm. and it just and you just trying to figure out how did how I, do I how get do I to get that? there yes wow mm -hmm. um 
for those of you all that are listening to Dante's Harmony Podcast, I am just privileged um, to have Lindsay B. Dillard, um, founder of Carry Him With Me on today. And she's telling an amazing story of how this line um, of, of fashion actually began. So you, you talked a little bit about the image imagery on on the um, apparel um and and I'm, I'm just guessing the pangea map can you talk a little bit about that and the actual print on the footprints on the logo I carry him <laughs> talk talk to me about how that came to be yes so i went to my husband and i went to ant's homecoming okay the university school and um we would go to hbcus mm-hmm. different so we're talking north carolina ant north carolina A&T. yes yes and so we're there selling our product and I'm letting them know about the brand and da da da. Mm-hmm. And like I was telling you, I put in like seven different features basically at each face okay. to, to represent the continent. Okay. So that's seven. It's a, over 195 countries in the world. So I'm leaving out a lot. Mm-hmm. Even though that I'm going to be tedious, this equals up to 84 features for men and women. Right. It's still a lot missing. Correct. So a lady came to me from um, Zimbabwe okay. and she said, well, I'm not in there. I said, you get the point. This took two years and four months to get here. You know she's from Africa. Okay. She's like, but I'm not there. I was like, you know what? Instead of getting frustrated about it, she's telling the truth. Okay. So I went back home and I researched the Pangea map because it's unity. It's one map before all the contents are broken apart. I didn't want anything missing. Right. No land, nobody. Right. And so then we just went and picked our colors. We had to pick colors and codes and sure. stuff. And it took three days to pres- basically to put get those through. yeah put those colors into wow. the map. And so now I felt so good. Okay. Nobody's missing. Nobody's left out. Right. At all. Zimbabwe's there. Everybody's Everybody's there. And they're supposed to be. That's right. They're supposed to be. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the footprints. The footprints. On the logo. I love it because that's what came to me first when I was reading the Bible at 22. Okay. I saw carry him. I saw the footprints and I saw Christian based apparel. But the footprints, I was told, uh, told by the Lord and the foot, 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 footprints in the sand, the poem, yes. where he carries us, we can also carry him. Wow. But we carry God inside of us by That's our right. actions, our character, how we walk in love. All those things are the ways that we carry God in us. Wow. And we, it's a relationship, you know? It goes back and forth. How do you treat God too? It's not just about how God treats us. So, so an outside product that really reflects the inside of us. Yes. This is amazing. <laughs> An outside product carry carry him, mm-hmm. but it really entails what's really on the inside. What's on the inside? Mm-hmm. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. I'm rocking this, and I can't wait to rock some more shirts and <laughs> and and more sweatshirts and everything that they have. It is it is an amazing line, um, and I, I can't wait to. We're gonna give all the information um, as far as the website and all that good stuff um, in in the. Um, description of this particular podcast but listen for those of you all that have not seen it give them the website that they go to www.carryhim.com carryhim.com everything's carry him that's linkedin um, instagram facebook any social media tiktok it's just carry him and that's c-a-r-r-y-h-i-m yes dot com dot com Everywhere on social media and the website carryhim.com. Yes. So this this is a po- this is so powerful. So 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 he's giving you the vision. Mm-hmm. You have these dreams. You develop the product. Now you're starting to see things come into fruition, mm-hmm. and you start to see things develop. Yes. And now things are really really happening. You're yes. you're create creating some traction, and now you're starting to get this product into the hands of even public figures yes you want to tell us a little bit about (laughs) some of these public figures that you were able to get get this product to yes with the help of my husband terry we've gotten it to bishop td jakes wow um, pastor creflo dollar he ministered in one of his shirts um on a wednesday night Mm -hmm. um Pastor Jamal Bryant. We have it in his bookstore. Wow. He's got like at least five different shirts. He has his favorite one. He'll tell us, oh, this is my favorite. We have a combination face of all the faces together. Okay. And he just loves that one. Wow. Um, Shante Moore. Wow. Um, singer Shante Moore. Singer Shante Moore. Wow. Oh, Lord. Uh, Bobby Brown. Uh, the Mitch, Bobby Brown. The Bobby Brown. Every little step I, I make. So every little step he's making, he's walking in love. We'll carry him. And he's and carrying him. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice list. Pastor Jensen Franklin, his family. Um, today, we actually went and set up um, for the Ford Conference. It's 20 years 
at this celebrating the Ford conference. Wow. Uh huh. So we tomorrow, the next three days, we'll be there selling and sharing the word of God this way. This this is amazing. Shout out to Lindsay's husband Terry. Shout out to Terry Dillard, who's an amazing musician, yes. uh, phenomenal drummer, and just an awesome musical director, music genius. And and he's he's putting you in front of all these. He's put me in front of all the people that he knows. Amazing people that he knows. He is. He's probably played for. Yeah. He's making calls, you know. Just a networking just genius. A networking genius, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom, she made Denzel Washington's wife's dress for the Oscars. Got best dress for the Oscars. Get out of here. She worked for Calvin Klein. He used some of her pieces for his fashion runway. And wow. so she's helping me along the way. And so we have a contact to Paula to Washington. So we got it to her and some of her family. Denzel Washington's wife. Mm -hmm. It's you, you, Okay, so you, you're making me go into a Bible study that I just did. <laughs> And we were talking about, um, and, and this this so coincides with everything that we're talking about. But um, Second Kings um, chapter four, the the, the widow, mm. and and the story of the widow uh, woman and the oil, oh, yeah. and oh, yes. how she lost everything. Her husband mm. died, and it was just her kids, and she was in need. She was desperate. She didn't have anything, mm -hmm. but she listened to, to the, the prophet. prophet. Mm -hmm. And when she listened to the prophet and obeyed everything that Blessings. the prophet said, Blessings. nothing was wasted. Nothing. She was able to fulfill her life. Mm. She was able to go through and not have her sons go through slavery, right? right? And, and be sold, but to live. Mm. She was able to get rid of the debt mm -hmm. and live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I just see this being played out like Amen. real time through you. Like you, you listen to the voice of the, prophet. of the prophet and you're sustaining yourself and living. Mm -hmm. And this is just the beginning. Oh, yeah. It was moments <laughs> that I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Talk to, about that. Like, what oh, do you mean? I was embarrassed in front of my family. Okay. Because was, because of this dream and how it didn't make sense to anybody right, but you. Right. I didn't even know how to express carry him. So what are you talking about? God said, do this. And some family members believe me. I'm not saying it wasn't believable to them. They know my personality. I've always been this kid that's been connected to Christ my whole life. Mm -hmm. But and now I'm an adult. <laughs> Wow. And it seems a little embarrassed, and I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, I, I don't know how to do this. I don't have any money coming in also. I don't know. It looks like I'm just having a hope for Christ, but he didn't really say it. And that's why I say this story, it, it mimics th that story, because mm -hmm. in the prophecy, one of the things that after she she told him everything that was going on with her, he asked, he asked her what was in her house, mm -hmm. and when she told him the oil... Mm -hmm. He said, go, go to your neighbors, get the empty, empty bottles, get the empty bowls. And then when you, mm -hmm. when you get all that, get as much as you can, come back to your house, you and your, your boys. And she shut the door and that people don't really talk about that in the text, mm -hmm. but that is so significant because when, when, when things like this happen, we have to shut the door. Mm -hmm even with That's family good. members, even with people that we know, because mm -hmm. they don't understand. And what we see as normal mm -hmm. is everybody's crazy. Like, yeah. like you Noah. look nuts. <laughs> you, what? what you it's going to rain. <laughs> and, 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 and the only people that are going to survive are the people that come to this boat. Right. You know, it, it's, it's that type of ordeal. But he did. He's, he, she shut the door. Shut the door. And I think that that is, that is a prophetic thing that was done because sometimes we have to in order to keep our sanity oh, for sure. and to stay focused on what oh, God yeah. is stay really balanced. saying to us. I had to keep my mind focused on Christ. Yeah. I really have a relationship with him. I view when I go to God, I go to God. I go there mm. and he answers and he leads me and he shows me. I don't just, oh, God, how are you doing today? God, I need this today. Thank you, Jesus. No, that's my father. Right. He's closer to me than anyone or anything mm -hmm. and he's a good father he's a good father he's a great great father yes he is and um man this this is a <laughs> this is amazing I, i'm still floored so okay so now you you have all these amazing um products and 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 you've you've met these amazing uh public figures mm -hmm. influential figures they're getting a word out and 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 your your product is online you're you're on social media mm -hmm. you have your website going um has it made any type of impact 
for are there any stories behind um significance you know when when you've sold your product to somebody and oh lord I love to be in person. I'll okay. have to say that. I know okay. I can't be in person all the time. We happen in bookstores, thank you, Lord. Yes. And it's growing into mm-hmm. other leads. Mm-hmm. But when I'm in person mm-hmm. and I get to see people express themselves, so I pray over the clothes. Right. Lord, right. I pray no heart attack, no struggle. Blah, blah. I pray relationship with you, Holy Spirit. Let it be what you want it to be. Right. Not just a piece of fabric with the map on it, right. but the real intent behind it. Right. May they understand it. May it draw them closer to you, mm-hmm. God. And so when I'm like at the Bronner Brothers show, we've been there for like five years mm-hmm. now. And this young girl came up to me. I was in, selling the product, telling her about Jesus. Mm-hmm. And she just looked around. She's like, are you telling me what I think you're saying? I said, what's that? She said, I'm a part of the body of Christ. I'm a part of his family. I said, you believe in Christ? She said, yeah, well, that's what we believe. Wow. Yes. And she started crying. We had like four people holding her. And just rocking. So this has been, so the clothes have been a catalyst to evangelism. Amen. And drawing people, discipleship, <laughs> drawing people closer to him. Yes. Because you're carrying him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, what have been some memorable uh, moments at, at some of the colleges or conferences or concerts that you've attended? Um, I know you just shared that, that story. That, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, another one, I guess the, the college comes to mind. Um, I had someone share with me, because mm-hmm. the, the combination face, mm-hmm. he wasn't laid out the way it is now. Okay. So he had longer blonde hair and like a blue eye on one side and all these other features in, right? Mm. And so a gentleman came, African-American male, he was like, I know you're saying that we're all a part of the body of Christ, mm-hmm. but he really looks more European mm-hmm. than anything else. He said, look, he's got blonde hair, long hair, with okay. a blue eye on the side. Okay. And I looked, okay, I actually see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I go back home, I cut his hair short, I keep it the same color, mm-hmm. and I swap the eyes. I put the Chinese eye, Asian eye beside blonde hair, mm-hmm. and the blue eye, and I added green. If you just listen to people's comments, a lot of times it's not negative right they're helping you see something you you don't see i'm so close to it that maybe i don't see it right and now that that's changed it's changed now people feel like i'm really saying everybody i'm not actually discriminating or choosing one race above the other that's 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 a good thing because a lot of a lot of most of us would have probably been offended we probably would have had some harsh words (laughs) (laughs) it's my product (laughs) tell me what to do but you you took his advice and you 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 took the criticism the constructive oh, yeah. criticism it, was, it and, was very good for me yeah very good for me and that's the way to grow it is and you don't listen to everybody you don't and you can't you, you can't and we've also had country wayne we've had um a gentleman dc the country wayne uh-huh we've had three different products on the show the last month maybe wow the last 30 days. that they've they've rocked They're, yeah thank you dc we appreciate Look at it. God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> there, there are a lot of people that are going to be watching and listening to this that are starting, and they're they're trying to figure it out. They were they were they are they are where you were mm. before the prophecy. Mm. What's your advice to them? Because Phew. they that that you know, there's so many people right now. They they are working jobs. They really don't want to work. They're, they, you know, they're they're really wanting to get into the very thing that God called them to, but they they feel discouraged because it's not happening on their time. Mm-hmm. That it's not working out. It's they don't see it, you know, the the way that it should. Or they they may have everything as you did, you know, you 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 had everything out, you had everything uh, um, ironed out, you, you you had the vision, but it was just it just nothing was selling, nothing was going. Right. For years. What was for years? <laughs> mm-hmm. What was the what, what? What is that? What what advice could you give an, a young entrepreneur, an older entrepreneur that just wants to give up? Honestly, my answer would be pray. You got to see what God's direction is. He could say yes. It's time to move to to another place. You never know. Mm-hmm. I still ask God. Yes. What do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. Um, pray. Have that relationship with Him. He He has given us access. That's a part of our slogan. We have equal opportunity to access God, to have a relationship with God, to get in alignment with Him. What is it that you want me to do? Wow. And so, if you want me to continue on this path, mm-hmm. I pray that's what I do. Yeah. But please lead me. Please show me because 
If it's another route, Holy Spirit, please let me know. Let me know. Let me know. So I know what route to so take. So I know what route to take. Yeah. And every route for every individual is different. It's totally different. Yeah. It's not it's not gonna be the same. Because we all have different experiences and, and the way it plays out will be different. Mm-hmm. But if we keep prayer Oh, you have to I mean it's important. I have to. Mm-hmm. I think you, you it's really important to do it. Yeah, hey, I, I believe and he answers us. Yes he does. Whether we like the answer or not. <laughs> and and I think what's interesting <laughs> is the, the answer comes in ways that we least oh. expect. <laughs> and in ways we don't even expect. For sure. Yeah. This is this is so great. Again, th- this is Dante's Harmony Podcast, and my guest here today, Lindsay Dillard, the um, CEO and owner of Carry Him Fashion Apparel. This is I- I'm just floored at her story, um, and I really hope that you all are gleaning from the things that she said, and, and you're encouraged. Um, a lot of us think that you know people just show up in spaces and places, mm. and things just happen. <laughs> like she's she's debunking all of that <laughs> with her story <laughs> like the just the the whirlwind of things that she had to go through and even just to, to the point of giving up mm-hmm. that you listen to the voice of god listen through. to the voice of god ask him to show up in my dreams and my visions See? just different ways through conversations show me holy spirit which way do you want me to go so i can be obedient i had a gentleman um two days ago we were at the uh juneteenth and uh, where was it? Piedmont. The Juneteenth Piedmont. here, in, Piedmont in, here in, Atlanta. in Atlanta. Okay. And Piedmont Park. Okay. And he was, um, he had a whole other faith. And you get that too. People sure. have total different faiths. What you think a Muslim is, right. is what that Muslim is. Right. <laughs> it's not what you it think It doesn't a represent is. all Muslims. And no. Right. And, you, and I learned that along the way too. Mm-hmm. Faith is according to that person's individual belief. Correct. It really is. And so he was telling me about his scriptures that he listens to, that he reads, and why do I believe the way that I do? And I said, well, this is what I believe. This is the scriptures that I be- read, and I right. it shows itself. God has revealed himself to me right. this way. Right. So I don't have any reason to go another route. When God shows you the route that you're on, that he's available there, and why, why would somewhere I go else? somewhere else? And so I shared that with him. God has revealed himself to me in a way I don't have to go anywhere else. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. And I think if we really get that and understand that to us, to us as individuals, and I say that collectively and individually, we would we would really, really understand our path. For sure. Unique to mm-hmm. the path he has me on, like right. that he has you on. Yes. And then going in that path that he's allowed you to see. Yes. And to really walk in it. And walk in it. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So talk, let's talk. We're going to switch a little bit. I, I want to go into the business aspect of what you do. And, you know, we don't have to go so into detail, but talk a little bit about the team of people. You, I know God gave you the vision. I know he gave you the dream, but you didn't do all of this by yourself. Oh, no. So talk because people, some of us, we really do. We really want to do this. God gave it to me and this is the way I see it. And that's great. Mm-hmm. But you can't do it by yourself. Mm-mm. So talk about your team <laughs> and those people that were in the trenches with you and in the background. That, I, that I love my you. first event that I've ever gone to. Mm-hmm. Terry, my husband now, was with me. Mm-hmm. And we were just friends. <laughs> he was at my very first show. Wow. <laughs> putting up boards and helping sell. And I was not a good salesman at all. Okay. So he would sell. And I'm listening to him. I would never close deals. I would just tell him, okay kind of walk away mm-hmm. you want it you want it if you sure. don't you don't he's like no that's not how you sell you do it like this so he taught me wow. how to close deals appropriately there's nothing sure. wrong with that okay um you come and touch it feel it and you, and they will actually like it more because they know more about the product correct so he's helped me with that um i had a young a lady named sandra mm-hmm. she's helped me so much she would actually go look up vending for me she would go research what's available um what was in my budget and um she would find those events and we would go there. We would go to the events. Go there. William, a friend, William. He's um, Terry's late business partner. He passed recently, but I, I love him forever. Wow. Um, he showed me how to do SKUs. I thought SKUs you could just make up a number and you have a SKU. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. It, it says this is a jacket. It's what color it is, what sure. size it is. That's right. It it's has just, to be specific it's a, yeah. to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. William helped me learn those things. He helped me with my website. Uh, my mom, she's helped me with designs. Like hers is, are so futuristic, but it's coming. Hers are off the chain. Really? <laughs> I can't wait. But wow. 
so so this is amazing because this is a this is a team effort this takes a team effort mm -hmm. in order oh, in order damn. to make happen and, and what i see in this is that you don't although you you knew what you wanted you knew what it was supposed to be oh for sure having the right people around you it's a, a gentleman named mario he okay. was my husband also we were <laughs> friends then too mm -hmm. he introduced me to mario he was like oh he can help you with um printing shirts right because i didn't have the good printer i went through at least 20 different companies manufacturers locally in atlanta mm -hmm. to find out who could print oh the color's not good enough oh it's going to wash it's cracking what in the world is going on so mario also helped me he was the first one to help me find a good printer okay and that was great and then i met a gentleman overseas and he now we have it custom made now we can go get what we want without just having a pre-made shirt now we can go get that and that's favor from god too custom custom made <laughs> when you <laughs> when you when you're networking you meet the right people and you stick at what you know to do and you just keep pushing oh you keep like pushing. god always sends you the right people oh he will he really will do it so i start asking the holy spirit which is i'm laughing about you asking this question i'm like <laughs> really lord because <laughs> i'm asking all the questions oh, yeah. wow so i asked him for a team okay. i said lord i need a team of we need to grow more. I have Terry, I have my mom, Sandra, I have Mario, I have people on the team, Solomon, but I need more people on the team. We want to get it to different leads. We want to get into JC Penney's. We want to get into Target. We want to get into, we want to get grants from government grants. Mm -hmm. um, EDWOSB, like an economically disadvantaged women small business. Yes. We want those things and we, those things are available. Mm -hmm. And it's not the easiest sometimes to get it, but it's available. Right. If you go to SBA.gov, you get on the phone with them, they will talk you through it for free. And people think, oh, you have to pay so much money to get that information. Mm -hmm. Call them <laughs> and they will talk you step by step and right. they'll have articles for you to read. And you can get this, this money and these grants. Real life, you can really get it for free. Wow. But and you it's have available. to go do the work. You got to do the work, yeah. mm -hmm. and and you have to you have to be persistent. You have to be persistent. Um, one of the things I was I was I was um, listening to today, and I'm always I always wake up to inspiration, mm -hmm. is that it's it's not that we can't get it; it's the speed in which we go get it. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> it's the speed at which you go get it oh, right you can you can see your way there but like are how like how diligent are you right when you it's do true. it right it's so, so <laughs> i'm guilty true. i can talk about myself so right true. i'm guilty because i i know i an idea can come to me a concept can come to me you know and it's just like okay I write it out, I sing it out, I play it out, whatever it is, and, and it's like, okay, and in the, the next day, I'm, I'm sitting there looking at it, and it's like, no, you need to, you need to go, you need to follow through, follow yeah. through, there has to be more. Oh, for sure, you know? and it's really a direction to get the answer. It it's is. like being in class, you take your first class in your life, right? Mm. And this, that's the level that you're on right. at the moment, and so they're going <laughs> to teach you what you need to know. <laughs> For that moment and that for that class moment. that level. And you'll you'll step up to the next class. And then the next and the next. The wisdom will grow. Wow. Yes. Introducing Affirm It, the heart and soul of Dante's Harmony, a project designed to rewire your subconscious mind with daily affirmations that breathe positivity into your life. Available for purchase on iTunes and Amazon and streaming across all digital platforms. Affirm It is your daily dose of inspiration, making each day a canvas of potential. But why stop there? Elevate your affirmation journey with our exclusive line of merchandise. From journals to pillows, mugs to coasters, each piece is a reminder of your commitment to positivity and growth. Visit DanteHarmon.com to discover more and join Dante's Harmony community. Embrace the power of positivity words and make them a part of your every day. With Dante's Harmony and Affirm It, transform your mindset, your day, and ultimately your life. You know, we're, we're, we're almost at the conclusion of this, but I, I want to ask a couple more questions. Um, and, and this is... I think this is so great because there are so many aspiring entrepreneurs that are going to be listening to this and that are listening to this and uh, especially in the fashion industry mm. and um, are Christians or or believe, you know, in, in a higher power or just believe, you know, in God or some degree, just have a sense of spirituality. 
I, I think it's important because you want, I know you want this to have an impact on the future oh, for and sure. for future generations to mm-hmm. come. What what impact exactly do you want? I mean, 20 years from now, 15 years from now, 10 years from now, wh- where do you see or how do you see Carrie Him impacting generations? Well, so Carrie Him, we also have a nonprofit called For Love. And we give a part of our proceeds to feed and clothe and educate and end sheltering. Okay. So that's a big part. We want to help kids get educated. We want to help people that Absolutely. need shelter. Um, I want to send a thousand kids to school. Right now we have 19 children in Uganda, Africa. And we're sending them to school. We're on our seventh year. And 15 years from now, I better have a thousand kids. <laughs> <laughs> you will. And you will. <laughs> So things like that, I want to be in bigger stores on yes. ships. Yes. We can put that map on ships. Absolutely. Just carry him. Um, different ways to help people understand that racism sucks. I don't care who you are. You're you not say better that again. than anyone else. And that is so terrible. That confusion got into people's minds and people really believe it. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you look, your skin, your age, your career, your financial. And these things are taught. Mm-hmm. It's taught. It's taught. It's, it really we don't is. wake up that way. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. that is an intentional decision. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so you have to choose to walk in love. All, come on. all of us a choice. It is. And the Lord talks to me when I get off course. He's, he lets me know, hey, remember what we're talking about. Mm. Carry him. Walk in love. I, I chose you wow. for a reason. You have to walk it out in your personal life. Right. Not just in front of the camera right. or at shows. Right. Walk it out. In your everyday behind walk closed doors. Love, walk, yeah. forgive. Right. It's a part of love. Patience, it's a part of love. Perseverance, it's a part of love. Love is a huge definition. If we just study love, I think we can understand how to carry him. Carry him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a, what a segue. This is this has been an amazing um, interview, and I, I there's so many more things that I, I really. Um, could think to ask you um i'm gonna ask you probably one or two more questions um i can tell but i'm gonna let you tell me how do you stay motivated how do you stay motivated um and i I'm, i think i almost know the answer to this mm-hmm. but how do you stay motivated when it comes to being inspired by what you are continuously doing because it's almost like you're sustaining yourself the the business is sustaining itself mm-hmm. and it's like you're you're it's it's elevating Mm-hmm. And more and more, it's elevating even more. Like, w- you know, how how do you stay inspired seeing what's happening, especially based off of how it started? I stay inspired a lot of times by seeing people's reaction. Mm. I, Akatunde, he's an awesome comedian. Yes. His first time seeing Carrie him, we were at an event. And he saw the whole banner. Okay. So it's all these faces, male and female, with this crown of thorns on their heads. Okay. And he's just looking. <laughs> I love to see people look and especially if they don't know because he's intrigued like... he's, he's looking but he said you know you're helping fight against racism someone coming to me telling me that God is using me to fight racism will motivate me to keep going wow. and we'll do it someone I, I had a, a young lady we're at the mall so we've been at the mall Sugarloaf Mills in Atlanta well Lawrenceville Georgia actually um, she said I'm an atheist I don't believe in any of these things I said you believe in love you believe in love? And she ended up purchasing a product. She said, you got me. <laughs> like, I didn't get you. I just been telling you what love is. It's not getting you. It's helping you to understand who God is. It's love. Wow. So the people's, you know, their reactions to the message keeps me going. That's amazing. And, that, and I think that, that that's, that's something that will sustain you. To, yeah. hear, to hear that. Mm-hmm. And to believe that you're sowing seeds into somebody's life right. to whatever they need. Like, I don't have to know what you need. Right. This is a seed for you to make your, to make you better. Right. Makes me better. Makes me happier. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay B. Dillard, um, the CEO of Carry <laughs> Him. This has been an amazing um, interview. I, I've... There, there have been a lot of interviews, and you know, the guy, um, I should say, um, uh, Dante's Harmony. Um, thinking about my my uh, music business, Degape, uh, uh, mentoring and and uh, the music, but I've never seen faith, culture, and social intersect, right? When it came down to clothing, 
or fashion apparel the way this has um and i i just see carry him um really doing that for race eradicating racism literally like it's happening as we speak you know right. and when people really find out and look um and i i would encourage you to go to the website go to the social media pages carry him c-a-r-r-y-h-i-m and look for yourself and and patronize and buy and support and like and share it's it's going to be a movement i'm excited about it we also have some songs that are come on coming. come on <laughs> i gotta carry i him. gotta have one i am beautiful walk in love we, I, we got it i i gotta get on one you i'm gonna I'm 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 get i'm gonna get at my boy <laughs> make sure i'm on one of these projects <laughs> definitely come yes Yes, I I have to because you know it's this is what we need. Like you know when we when we see I, I look at the the um, this current presidential race mm. that we're that we're experiencing in in a, the political climate that we're in, mm -hmm. and I, I'm just saddened um, by the 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 racism. I'm, oh, I'm saddened sure. by the the poor decisions. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saddened by the the mm -hmm. just the how we have just ex we we put god on on the face of our money but we exclude him out of out of our schools mm -hmm. we put god on the face of money and and we say in god we trust, trust but him. but we don't we 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 don't trust a, a black man walking down the street or walking into his business or mm -hmm. walking into his home and mm -hmm. conducting you know uh business in 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 no way shape or form in 2024 mm -hmm. i was just watching a video today it was of um Eddie Murphy and he was he was and I, I want to say it was in 88 he was talking to the Academy about the lack of diversity and it's sad it's so sad and it was it was so it was so funny because he says at the rate we're going and it was in 88 you know we won't have another black person to win until 2004 right okay <laughs> if if he did not prophesy right. um, but the the sadness is is that it's ignorance race yes. all these the these sad um you know racial and political mm -hmm. issues that we are we're going through mm -hmm. and to see such an inspiring product mm -hmm. and carry him you know i say the potter <laughs> god is the potter mm -hmm. he put us on the wheel he yeah. created us the potter did not make anyone better than the other that's right he didn't and if you look at somebody like oh they're ugly well you talk to the potter about that and you tell the potter that he made somebody <laughs> and, <laughs> and see, see what the potter, potter says. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> this has been amazing. I, I hope you all have enjoyed. Lindsay, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, for sure. This has been enlightening. And I, I hope the entrepreneurs and, and those that are in business, those that are starting out in business, those that have failed in business, those that have given up their business, mm. that when you listen to her story and you listen to the story of Carrie Hemm, it will turn you around, put you back on track to where you need to be and listen to some of the things that were shared with us um, and how she picked herself up. And with this weekend, you, you guys are going to be in front of 13,000 people mm -hmm. yes. here in Gwinnett County at the at the. Um, uh, 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 the, the wow, Pastor Chester Franklin. Yes. 20, 20th year at the gas at the gas South Arena. Mm -hmm. I mean, who, who, who knew if you just gave up and said, you know what, I can't do it anymore. If, if, or if even after the prophet spoke and you just decided not to listen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure. Missing out on the opportunity where you can For bless sure. over 13,000 people. still not our speed. It's still not what I choose. And I have to re remember that. You have to remember it's not your speed. Even if you choose to do what the prophet said, and you know the prophet's a real prophet. Mm -hmm. It's not some playing games. I right. knew it was real. Um, it's still not your speed. Right. It's still, I'm going to obey you, Lord, even if it takes 15 more years. Wow. All my life. I can't tell God how, how long to take. No. So. But he knows. He knows. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay B. Diller, carry him. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for thank you for doing this, and for those of you all um, that are listening, um, thank you for joining us and share this podcast. Um, like and share this with 
all of your friends, all of your family members, and those, especially those that are that are entre- entrepreneurs and they really have an idea, they really have a dream, and they really don't know what to do or maybe have given up. Have them take a listen to this. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you so Be much. blessed. Be blessed. Carry him. <laughs> Carry him. <laughs> Discover the perfect blend of faith, fashion, and unity with Carry Him. The clothing line that celebrates diversity and shared humanity. Each piece is thoughtfully designed by founder and CEO Lindsay Dillard, incorporating powerful symbolism and the Pangea map to remind us of our interconnected world. Shop online now and elevate your wardrobe with meaning and style. Use code DHP. 15. That's D as in Dante's, H as in Harmony, P as in Podcast, 15 at checkout for an additional 15% off your purchase. Embrace the message. Carry him. Visit Carry Him's website to start shopping today.